You don't want to see this at an early morning surf session. Fins poking out of crashing waves at Cocoa Beach. Started recording this giant shark, probably about 10 foot, just thrashing around at the stingray in the water. David Pritzker shot this video Sunday morning, and if you look again, you will see the shark was mere feet from surfers trying to get to shore. I think a couple of the guys out in the water surfing hurried in really fast. They were probably a little in shock, like, oh man, I gotta get out of the water. Thankfully, no one was hurt there. But miles north in New Smyrna Beach, David's friend wasn't as lucky this weekend. And I can feel it just going clap. Charlie Hajik, better known as Gnarly Charlie, can add shark bite to his list of surf stories. About a half an inch away from my Achilles attended. That would have been bad if you would have bit my Achilles. Hajik was on a streak 148 days of surfing. Then he got off his board Sunday and stepped right onto a shark. Initially, there was no blood from the bites. Then I get on the beach and I take that first step. And then all those teeth marks opened up like flowers. Hajik says he wrapped his surfboard leash around his ankle and foot to stop the bleeding. He ended up at the hospital with six stitches and a doctor's order to stay out of the water for at least 10 days. I want to go today if I could, but I don't want any, I don't want any infection.